All right, guys, this is part two from my previous video. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, I recommend watching it. I pretty much just kind of go over what Marines would carry on their lightweight rucksack frames. Recently, I discovered that a lot of photos of uh, Marines, like their specific setups and so on and so forth, just kind of using the lightweight rucksack pack. So, got pretty excited, did the setup, and, you know, figured might as well record it. So, I'm going to start off with the uh, jungle first aid. I got this from one Pacific photo that dated 1967. You guys don't have to do this. This isn't really like a standard thing. I thought it was unique and pretty cool, so I did it. Just to make it a little bit more unique of a setup, I suppose. But it's completely historically accurate. This entire kit is 100% um, accurate to what the Marines would carry because, you know, I used multiple photos. But, um, yeah, I have a smoke grenade on the side. Um, pretty cool. Just my airsoft one. Nothing special. I have the uh, M43 shovel kind of tucked over everything. Real common practice not having a uh, sheath on your shovel. Kind of an underrated thing. No one really does that, but you know, still pretty. It's historically accurate. I don't. I'm not entirely sure why grunts did that. I guess it's just more easier to do. I mean, I would agree with that. Tucked underneath this flap here, or I guess the uh, pack flap. I have a poncho liner, poncho rolled up. Common practice seen with the Marines, they either have it um, tucked underneath or above with, you know, these straps kind of keeping it together. Tucked underneath these, I guess, straps, I have the uh, signal flare and a sea rat sock. Real common with multiple Marines and, you know, the references that I've used. Two canteens on each side. Honestly, like a standard, just a lot of grunts have done that. Um, on this side here, I actually saw a Marine with three canteens. And uh, they were on each flap, just kind of using this loop here. Um, just kind of took that and just, you know, did it with one. I felt like three would be a little bit overdone. It might, people might call me Farby. But yeah, there's that. And then, you know, M56 canteen. I actually already went over that. And then, I have a bipod right here, just kind of chilling. A lot of Marines in Hawaii City used, you know, those M16 bipods. So I figured might as well just put it on my ruck. Uh, on the side here, I just have a, uh, I guess, Korean War canteen hooked on here. And then that's pretty much it, actually. Real simple kit. Um, I pretty much just turned three rucksacks into one, made my alternative version. I used pretty much four references. And, um, well, that kind of contradicts what I just said. But anyways, I used four re references and, um, you know, just kind of mix things around. The only thing that's not accurate in those, like, photo-wise is this uh, signal flare. But, you know, Marines had signal flares, so, you know, that's technically accurate. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is pretty much my lightweight rucksack frame. I guess if you guys want to copy this kit, you could change it a little bit. You can actually put the, um, like I said, you could put the uh, poncho, poncho liner above here. You could tuck the shovel. Um, here you can remove the signal flare. You can put three canteens in those loops. I kind of don't recommend it, but it's up to you. You can put a carabiner. Um, you can, of course, remove the uh, jungle first aid. You know, this isn't something that's like, you know, common and common. It's just something I've done. I might remove it. I don't know, though. But, um, I mean, you could put it somewhere else, so on and so forth. I've actually seen a five-quart bl uh, bladder canteen. The guy actually had it looped on, I think, right here. Um... They also had their frames low. They also had their frames, you know, in the middle like mine. And they also had them up. So it's entirely up to you guys. Um, you guys could add a little bit more stuff to yours. But um, my advice is just to keep it really very basic. You, you know, you can actually have an M56 cover. You know, there's multiple things you guys could do. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.